All right. Today we're talking about the fact that uh, the, the latest census tells us that Latinos are the fastest growing demographic in the country. Um, what is it that you guys have learned when it comes to getting a college degree, why it's important, especially for the Hispanic community? Well, first of all, as you just said, uh, there's 300 million people in the United States. 50 million are Hispanic, one out of every six. But what's really interesting, under the age of 25, it's one out of four. So we're a very young demographic, and uh, that numbers, those numbers will continue to increase. The real challenge is the <clears throat> critical number that's needed for college graduates in President Obama's initiative to be the world leader again in our share of college graduates with certificates by 2020 will need 9 million degrees or certificates. Uh, half of those will have to be earned by Latinos. So that's, there's a real challenge. It's a national concern, but we need to educate Latinos in order to be part of that workforce, in order to compete globally. And Dr. Lopez, where do parents and the students, where can they turn, what are the first steps they need to do as their kids are approaching their junior and senior years? What do they need to do first? Well, first of all, even before junior and senior year, it's important that uh, parents and students really focus in on the elementary grades and, and at home, first and foremost, and then into the elementary and secondary. They need to begin to develop that academic preparedness in order for them to be successful at the college level. So being prepared academically is critical, I think, uh, and that's, that's the major part. The second part is how do they begin to prepare to pay for college? What are the challenges? Where are the, where are the opportunities? Uh, for for loans or for grants, and uh, and then also developing a plan to actually pay back these loans so that there's also other money for other students. So the challenge of financial literacy is critical, and schools need to reach out to students, both universities and high schools, and begin to help parents understand uh, what opportunities there are financially. And then the other part is we got to close the chasm between higher education and elementary ed and secondary in the K-12. We need to make sure that colleges reach out to the, to the K-12. I know at our university, at the National Hispanic University, we're working very closely with the uh, high school that we have near our campus where these students can actually take classes at the university level. And it demystifies the experience of a university, plus it also prepares them and gives them an opportunity to, to experience success, which is really the, the the confidence that they need in order to be successful in college. So those are the things that have to happen that are critical in our community in order for us to have the workforce of the future when it comes to the number of Hispanics. Is the Hispanic University, uh, where is it? Is it online? Or? It's, it's located, it's based in San Jose, California. We have an on-ground on campus. We also have online now, we have a master's program in education and a BA in child development, a BA in business. We're beginning to offer more and more programs online because we realize yeah. that the challenges that students have uh, when it comes to uh, finance or working with the or addressing the needs of their family doesn't really allow them to attend a campus, a college campus. So we want to make sure that we have given plenty of access and that the online be available to them no matter where they're at, whether it be at home, work, whatever the case may be, as long as they have a computer and that kind of access, they can begin to take courses and programs to f complete so that they can become professionals and make contributions to society. Well, I think one good thing and important thing to point out is that it doesn't matter if it's a you know young kid out of high school or an adult because you can be working and taking these classes as well. So yes, exactly. Right. And for the website again, but for the not only for the campus but just for, for basic information on what parents can do to prepare their children. Yeah, the website for the National Hispanic mm -hmm. University is www.nhu.edu, uh, or they can also reach us by phone at eight eight eight. Seven nine zero five zero five seven, and we hope to have programs and, and uh, opportunities across the United States. That's already happening at the national level. People just need to come on and check out our programs, and hopefully, we'll have something for them. If not, as we continue to offer more programs, we want to meet more of the needs of our Latino community, and so that they can be part of that workforce. I love it, Dr. Lopez. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and we will catch up with you later. Okay, thank you, Alice. Okay, bye -bye. all right, bye bye.